What is up guys, welcome to another video, so in this video right here, I am going to tell you guys why the prices of every single player are so expensive on the market right now. Now before we go to the video, if you guys can smash likes on this video, that would be insane. Let's try to aim for 500 likes once again, thank you guys so much for support on the previous videos, it's been insane guys. Uh, but if you're wondering why am I not really streaming that much lately, basically, on when you guys are watching this, yesterday I was going away, I'm away for two days right now, and basically I'll be home again on Wednesday evening, so yeah, I'll be home. When you see this, I'm probably home, so I'll be streaming again from Thursday on. I'll be starting streaming again from Thursday, and then obviously I'm going to be streaming a lot. But yeah, I've been pretty busy after my 10-hour stream. But again, if you're wondering when I'm going to be streaming again, it's going to be from Thursday. So basically, a lot of people are wondering why are the players' prices so expensive. First of all, I have an example here. If you're wondering why, if you're if you're probably wondering right now, are every single player really expensive? And I have the question to that. Yes, as you can see here, we have a silver inform called the Yoshida. This guy is not even being priced. This is seriously his price. Uh, around two weeks ago, guys, this guy was about 60,000 coins. Now, he is 521 thousand coins which is just crazy uh, he was about 90,000 coins on the 20th of January which is about two weeks ago as I said and uh, yeah he's just been going up by like 400k more than 400k over the past two weeks it's just ridiculous uh, so many pr player prices now are so expensive I also got a second inform neighbor in the pack uh, when you're watching this that was about I think that was but yeah that was like three days ago I basically got him on Sunday and yeah I got him then and he basically when I picked him up then or got him in the pack he was going for about 5.5 million now he's going for 6.3 million coins probably even more when you guys are watching this video so every single thing guys it are so high in price right now and you're probably wondering why now the Basically, the reason to that is because coin prices are so cheap. We didn't have this issue back on FIFA 12. Everything was so cheap, like Ronaldo and everything was like 400k. But that back then on FIFA 12, like 400k was like 15 million or something on the PlayStation right now. So 400k then was insane. It's just that right now coin prices and there's so many coin sites that are selling coins for very cheap. That is why. That is why everything is so cheap. You can literally, I think you can get like a million coins or something for like eight pounds or something. Don't ask me on any coin websites so or where you can find that. But I've heard that from a lot of people and that is just crazy. So that's the reason it's so freaking expensive to buy players right now. It's definitely 100% because of coin sites. Uh, same back on FIFA 14, you know, after, you know, when there was like three months left, every single thing started to get really high in price as well. That was also because of coin sites, because at the end of FIFA, every single FIFA, at the end of them, coin sites are going down in price and they're going to get the coins cheaper. That is the reason they have gone up again at the late last of FIFA as well. Uh, FIFA 14, the players' prices went up like the past two months or the left two months left of the game. And yeah, that's been happening right now. So you're probably wondering, is the player price is going to go back down again now basically we do indeed have a team of the season and during team of the season coins are going to be expensive again because you know the same thing is thing is same, same thing basically as team of the year so basically during team of the year uh, team of the season everything is going to be cheaper of course but then after team of the season again it's not that long I would say it's just a few months left of FIFA 15 so players prices are going to go back up again so a lot of people are saying to me right now and a lot of people are saying, are saying on Twitter that coin prices are going to go down again during team of the year uh, which is which is true like coin prices for example uh, every single player here is going to go down in coins of course but after team of the season again they're going to go back up because coins are going to be even cheaper than they are right now and just they're going to go back up so during team of the season of course the, the players are going to be cheaper but they're going to go back up again so because of coin sites right now they in my opinion has basically ruined the game like if you don't have any if you, if you basically don't buy coins you're not able to do anything on FIFA I don't say I buy coins I don't say anybody really buys coins that's up to you if you buy them or not but basically if you don't do that right now you're not going to get anywhere with FIFA because everything is so expensive so I don't really know what how the market is going to be but my prediction is that during team of season obviously things are going to be cheaper because coin starts are going to be more expensive but after team of season again I would say that I'm going to go back up in price even though team of season is here for a very long time after team of season again Coin prices for players and stuff are going to go back up again in price, and that is basically my prediction. Let me know your prediction in the comment section down below. I really like to read about this, so let me know down below. Do you think they're this is just going to go up again in price? Do you think everything will be expensive? Do you think they will go down anything like that? Let me know in the comment section down below. I actually think that team of season will not really affect this too much, uh, considering there are so many coin sets and stuff right now. So. 
yeah, this is my prediction. I think the market is just going to be extremely expensive this year. And I cannot even imagine FIFA 16. Like, FIFA 16, I think the game is going to be completely ruined by this. And yeah, as you can see, basically, right now, you know, everything is going up so much. It is just insane. And normal Ronaldo, guys. This is insane. Normal Ronaldo. Around two weeks ago, I picked him up. Or actually, not two weeks ago. About one and a half weeks ago, I picked him up for about 4.9 million coins. Now, normal Ronaldo on the PlayStation is 11 million coins. For the normal one. For the normal card, Ronaldo. He is 11 million coins, guys. That just explains something. That is just extremely weird. And yeah, so that is my prediction, guys. Nothing is going to change. Uh, prices are just going to be even higher. And yeah, that is basically my prediction. Let me know your prediction in the comment section down below. I really like to read about this, as I said. And uh, yeah, that is basically my opinion on this. A, a lot of people have been asking me, uh, asking me on this on Twitter. Like, are players' prices going to go down? Are anything going to change? But in my opinion, they will not change. They will change a little bit during team season, but they will obviously go back up again after that. So yeah, that is my video right there. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, make sure you guys leave a like, and I will see you guys later today with another video. Goodbye, guys.